Hey guys, what is up? It's Card Shuffler 99 here today. Before we get into this, guys, if you guys are interested in getting some free gift cards, all you guys have to do is click the link in the description for free my apps. Click that link, download free app you apps. You guys can download some free gift cards. Also, Matt Franco actually performed this trick on ESPN. So make sure you check out his performance. Also, we're doing a $50 Amazon gift card giveaway for the month of September. So if you guys want to be entered, all you guys have to do is like this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Notifications have to be on and you have to comment one time on one video. What do you guys like about a channel or that specific video? Let's go ahead and get into the trick. Adam, we need you to select a card today. So go ahead and select any card you would like. Any card? Any card. Right, Doesn't go matter. This card. And it's fine if I can see it. All right, guys. Make sure you get a good look at that card right there. Perfect. It's fine. So we'll, one last look. You selected the two of diamonds. We'll go ahead, place the two of diamonds somewhere into the middle of the deck, just like that, guys. All right, go ahead and cut the deck just like that. Now, Adam, over here, we have some face-down cards that you might be wondering, you know, Robert, what are those face-down cards? And I'll be like, you know what? It's very interesting because they are actually the four aces. So we'll go ahead and we'll show you the one, two, three, four aces, guys, and we'll go ahead, and we're going to play a little bit of a game with them today, guys. So here's what we're going to do. Adam, this is what we need you to do. We're going to play three rounds, and we okay. need you to choose one of the aces. So we have these four aces. Choose one of them. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, ace of hearts. Ace of hearts. Fine by me. We'll go ahead, and we're. this is what we're going to do. I'm going to turn over the Ace of Hearts without you knowing, but you're going to try to catch me. So if you see me do it, let me know. So we're going to play a little game. Ah, you just, oh, okay. All right. I thought you but turned if, it over. I thought you turned it over. And just giving you a heads up, if we win the game, something very special might happen. So let's go ahead. Ready? Did you see it? No. No? Well, we can actually show you that the Ace has already turned over, and you're, you're losing the game, Adam. You're losing the game. So let's okay. go ahead and get into the round two here. So, Adam, you ready? Yep. I'm watching you. You see it? No. No? No? Well, we can actually show you that it happened again without you noticing. So, Adam, you're taking an L right now. This I, is your this is your this okay. is the third round, last chance. This is it. So this is this is the grand finale. If you can't do this, you're you're terrible. So let's go ahead. Alright, you ready? Yep. Did you see it? No. No, uh, well, that's because nothing happened. But just give the deck a little bit of a shake. The card's a little shake. We can actually show you that the Ace of Hearts turns over one more time. Now, I told you something special might happen at the end of the trick, so if we just snap our fingers, we can actually let you turn over the card and show that it's your the selection, the two of diamonds so guys that is the trick guys and let's go ahead and learn how to do it so let's get right into the tutorial here guys so there is a little bit of um a setup but not much uh you're just gonna start with four aces and yeah there is that's the whole setup you, all you need is the four aces so let's go ahead and get right into it so grab your four aces doesn't matter you can use uh, a spectator's deck, whatever. Go ahead, start off with the four aces, maybe in the spectator's hand or something. Doesn't matter, maybe just off to the side like that. All right. And from there, you can go ahead, you can give the cards to the spectator, and they themselves can actually go ahead and shuffle the deck. So they're shuffling the deck until they are completely satisfied. You can shuffle the deck. It really doesn't matter. It's basically until they are satisfied. From here, you guys are going to have the spectator select a card. So, what you guys can do, go ahead and spread out the deck. Go ahead, just have the spectator select any card. It doesn't matter. And what you guys can do is you have to control the card to the top in any way. So, let's go ahead and take a look at our selection. The three of spades. But you need to control the card to the top any way possible so the way i did it i'll show you guys my way and maybe one other way so you guys can go ahead and learn how to do it so here you're going to take their card and you're going to place it you know it doesn't really matter somewhere into the middle just like that and push it in about halfway go ahead you can show them that you're placing it you know somewhere in the middle and you're going to go ahead and with your thumb you're going to push down on the card 
And what this will do is when you're pushing down and in, it will actually allow you to get a thumb break just like that. So one more time, here's the card, right? You're here, just have it anywhere in, in the center, just like this. You're gonna place down, push down, and in, and it'll create that break just like that. You know, not as big, but it will create that break, which you can transfer to a pinky break just like that. A little exaggerated here, guys. So before we get into it, make sure you just, all you have to do is push the card in and get your break. From here, this is what you're going to do. I cut the packets in three, but you guys can do whatever else you want. You're going to go ahead. You're going to take about half of the cards above the break. Go ahead. Take about half and place them down just like that. Then you're going to take all the rest of the cards above the break. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just take the cards right above the break. Place them down. And then place the rest of the cards on top just like that. So one more time. You guys are here. Somewhere in the middle. It doesn't matter. All right. Down. Just push it down just like that. Half the cards above the break, rest of the cards, and then you just control it to the top just like that. All right. So right now you can do false shuffles or, you know, you know their cards control to the top. You can control it any way you guys want to. All right. But Matt Franco actually did a simple false cut that just looked just like that. All right. Very simple, very easy. You guys can do that. Um, it doesn't really matter. You guys can do any of the false cuts you want. Just make sure that... The card stays on top. You can give the card a riffle shuffle. It doesn't matter. As long as their card stays on top, you're good. From here, you're going to get a pinky break under their card. If you guys know how to pinky count, you can do that. Or if you can simply just want to, go ahead and push the card over and get your pinky under there. Wow, you're going to do that while you guys are showing the four aces. So go ahead, show the four aces. Make sure you got your break there. And I like to have the aces, you know, a little bit messy, something like this. So when you have the break under their card... What you guys can do is go ahead and just square up the aces. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to have that break, and you're just going to steal off their card just like that. So you're going to have the four aces and their card and place the rest of the deck off to the side just like that. So now you're in a position where you've all one, two, three, four aces and their card. Go ahead, have them select any one of the aces. It does not matter. What you're going to do is you're going to place that ace on the bottom. When you're doing this, you're going to go ahead, one, two, three, and do not push off the fourth or else you will flash that. So have, have them like this, guys, <laughs> and here's what you're going to do. Let's say they choose the Ace of Hearts. Go ahead, place the Ace of Hearts on the bottom, just like that. All right. From here, you're going to say we're going to play a game. Before you place it on the bottom, you're going to say we're going to play a little bit of a game. I'm going to turn it over. You know, Let me know if you catch me. Go ahead, place the Ace of Hearts on the bottom, just like that. Clean, nothing special, and you're just going to snap your fingers and you're going to say it already happened. One, two, three. And you can show that the Ace of Hearts has already turned over, but you cannot flip it because it won't work. So, guys, from here, you're going to take these three face-up cards and flip them over just like that. Then, you're going to go ahead and take the top two cards and say, we're going to do a round two. Now, you're going to just peel off the top card in your right hand just like that maybe for your left hand for you righties out there and you're just gonna show the cards like this do not do it with this because you will flash the ace of hearts all right and you're going to take these cards and bring it back on top so you guys were in this position right here take one two and you're gonna bring these two cards on top while you're saying all right time for round two let's give you a second chance it's already set up you can go ahead and it's very important when you're revealing this part that you're actually reversing the orders the order of the cards. So you're going to say, let's go ahead, one, reverse the order, or else the rest of the trick won't work. So remember, right here, you have to reverse the order, show the ace, and then bring this card up just like that, and say the ace, you know, has flipped over again without you knowing. You're going to square that up, and what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to take the top two cards, flip them over, just like this. And then from here, you're going to just peel off one, two, right? And you're going to block push two cards, just like this. So you're block pushing these two cards. So you flip the you flip these two over, just like that. Go ahead, one, two, right? And you're going to block push this last card as one. All right, there are two cards. One more time. All you're going to do, just work on this, guys. Block push it and then flip over this bottom card, just like that. Square them up. And what Matt Franco does is he says, uh, you know, the did you see anything happen? And he just goes through and he just shows that, you know, nothing happened that time. Then he goes goes ahead, snap his fingers, or snap his uh, fingers, shakes the deck, and you're going to do this last move here. 
Just hold the deck and the middle grip just like that. Index finger, middle finger, and ring finger. It doesn't really matter. You're going to take your top. You're going to take your thumb. You're going to peel off the top card. While your index finger is going to be peeling off the bottom card. And your middle finger is going to be peeling off the next card. So here's what I'm going to go. Go ahead and go through this. So thumb is peeling off that. The index is peeling off the bottom card. And then your middle finger is going to be peeling off the face down card. Just like that. And you can go ahead, pull that card out, square these up, and you're going to show them that it's actually their selected card, you know, and they can inspect everything and everything's clean. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is Card Shuffler 99. Peace out.